Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Beauty. My name is Brandy and we are a beauty review channel. If you like unboxings, mystery boxes, beauty reviews, tutorials, I hope that you will like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. I am trying to beat the sun. <laughs> it's setting as I'm talking but it keeps going back and forth. I've tried this a couple times now and I'm just going to try to work with it. So this is an unboxing as you saw from the title of the KVD Vegan Beauty, formerly Kat Von D Vegan Beauty. Um, this is their mystery box they did. They did them about I think January as well. I didn't really appeal to those but this time I got an email from them and I've actually never purchased from them. The reason I was on their email is because I had, what did I do? I can't remember why. There was a reason I went there and I, I had put my email and maybe it was a contest or something. I can't remember but I never boycotted them. I didn't get into all that. I, honestly that just to me was way overboard. Everybody else comes back in like five minutes but she was like banned for life. So I'm just like beyond don't get involved in any of that. So this is a $70 mystery box. You can see I'm chasing the sun again. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. Before I forget, I just wanted to remind that I do have a contest running until June 5th where you could win um, three items. One is a Huda Beauty Ruby Palette, one is a Benefit Professional Primer, and the other one is a Beauty Creations Palette. I think that one's Cali something. I forget the name offhand now. But it does run until June 5th. I will link that video up in the card so you can go there after you watch this, of course. <laughs> go there and I will link it down below to enter the contest. It is um, open to American um, and Canadian residents only. Sorry I couldn't do international this time but it is very expensive shipping. Even to Canada it's very expensive so I do got to kind of limit as I do these contests where I'm sending them to. So okay let's get in this KVD box. So this mystery box is $70 and you were supposed to get over $200 in value and I believe they said seven items but I don't have the receipt in front of me. So first of all I want to state shame on UPS for chucking my package. So you did chuck it like a football onto my porch but thankfully I did check it and everything is okay. So it did come in just a plain you know box like this and then it came inside just a ziploc bag i did just do away with that because noise on the camera is a little bit harder to adjust to so i did just get rid of the plastic so the first thing that i see is a brush this is a edge foundation brush let me just open this it come wrapped in plastic and in a box so it does look like this And this is, um, like I said, an edge foundation brush. It says it's a one. Wow, that's all. For being vegan and, and good animals, we're not being good to the environment. That's two things of plastic right there. Because it had plastic inside the box. Well, that's a neat brush. That's really cool. So definitely okay with that. So the next thing I see is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Requiem. Requiem? Requiem for a Dream. I think that's how you say it. That's the movie. <laughs> So this is like a lavender shade. Does look like that. I'm trying to add my autofocus. I reset my settings to fix my auto white balance and then now my autofocus is messing up. I'm like I can't win but it's a new camera. I just have to learn it but it's just a pain trying to figure it all out. The next thing is another everlasting liquid lipstick. And this one is in bow and arrow i think i received a trial size of this a while ago it's like a brownish color For a second i thought there was hair on it but it was actually like plastic like the strings that can come from plastic so it was not a hair so it's the bigger swatch on this side and on camera it looks to me like it's almost picking up like a lavender or a mauve it's not it's like an actual brown Next I see the Anti-Precision Smoky Eyeliner and this one's in um, Trooper Black. I've never seen this one before. Oh that's neat. It's like a, um, it's not a liquid, it's like a gel or a cream. It's this thicker line over here. So that's cool. And then a Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Sorry, I wasn't showing you the boxes to these. Apologize. Um, I have the tattoo liner in black. I received it I, like in my Ipsy or one of them. I can't remember which one. But it does. These do like the finest lines. And because it's a brush tip, you can actually like smooth the line back if it starts getting wider. 
And the next thing I see is the Kat Von D or KVD. This one actually says KVD. Almost all of these boxes have a said Kat Von D. So you know they're doing Mr. Bucks to get rid of their packaging. However, this is KVD Locket Makeup Setting Mist. Looks like that. And it does look like this. And let's see how the sprayer is. It is a very fine spray. It took a second, just like a lot of them do, that it squirted heavy, but then it calmed down. And it does have zero scent, none. And then next, there is a Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in Gamma Ray. No, sorry, I did not show you the packaging. Just look like that. And it looks like that. And the inside looks like that. That is pretty. It's very glittery, which her highlighters are. I used to have the Metal Crush Highlighting Palette, and it was very glittery. So it has like an orange duochrome. It's on the bottom of the swatches. Next I see exactly why I ordered this. So I, I started to tell you and I messed up. I received an email and in that email told me about the mystery box but because we are subscribers they gave you a preview of one item that would be in the mystery box. And that was the Shade and Light Contour Palette. It does look like that. I actually owned this previously and I got rid of it and then immediately was irritated I got rid of it because I didn't realize how hard it is to come by contour shades that are this cool. Like, I have one by Smashbox I adore, but they're not, like, all the time available. So this is what it looks like. And this shade over here is, like, a fair person's dream. <laughs> it works so good. Their packaging is very pretty, too. It's very pretty. So that was in there. And then the last thing in the box is a bag. I'm going to take it out of the bag. It is completely flat. There is no gathers, so there it would be definitely be a... Um, like a purse or a clutch it wouldn't necessarily be good for a makeup bag so that is everything that was in the box and that says Kat Von D too they're obviously getting rid of their old Kat Von D stock so let's figure out the totals so the makeup brush is 34 the setting spray is 29 the anti-precision smoky liner is 19 the shade and light palette is 49.50 the lipsticks are 21 each the Mad Max liner, the brown liner, is 21. The Metal Crush highlighter is on sale for 15. So that's $209.50. So that definitely meets the value. I do want to note one thing here that I thought was kind of interesting. I recently received the Metal Crush liquid highlighter in um, BoxyCharm, and I'm not sure if it's going to pick up, but these are on clearance. They are on clearance for $12. So like when I did mine, I it was a box that I was ticked off about. I didn't do an actual YouTube video about, but if you check the link up here, I did go through how BoxyCharm is lying to us about their values. They're claiming that our boxes are valued at 120, I think it is for the base box and 175 for the premium. We are not receiving that. They are getting clearance items that are no longer the value that is claimed on their website. So you have to go to the brand and check it. So make sure when you get your BoxyCharm, go through and check all the values, all the brands, see and and also check where it's manufactured. I really didn't get into that in that much I think at all in my video but there are some that are actually normally American made but were then made in China and that really put a lot of people off for that as well. So the value of this is almost $210. I mean it really let's just say $210 because it's round up and with the bag it's over that if you put value on the bag. So I think they did a great job on this. What is a value to me? <laughs> what am I going to use a ton of right? That's where the importance is with mystery boxes or subscription boxes or anything else is, is the value there and then is that value there for you. So like I said, I reordered or I ordered this almost exclusively because of this. This almost paid for it. So this is $59.50 and the, the mystery bag was $70. So that it was one of the reasons I was willing to take a chance on a brand that I really haven't tried a ton of. So again, these eyeliners definitely a win. That puts it over the 70 bucks and we're good. I'm never one to turn down a good setting spray that has a good sprayer. I haven't tried it as a setting spray, but the sprayer itself is good and it's unscented. So for me, that's a win. And then for me, I never have enough brushes. And this is a pretty cool foundation brush. Like I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's like two-sided, like it comes to a point. 
maybe that'll help it pick up. It comes to a point like that. So I love the brush. I'm not going to get use out of the bag or the highlighter. I already know the highlighter formula is honestly fine as far as like wearability, as far as it lasting all day and things like that. But these are very glittery. So if I was going to a concert or if I want to use it as eyeshadow, I that's fine. But I wouldn't use it as a highlighter on my everyday life. So Again, 210 value plus the bag. I think that's a great value. I don't think I lost anything on this. I paid $70 for it, so I don't think that I lost anything. That is the Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty May 2020 mystery bag or mystery box. If you like these types of unboxings, I hope that you will like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and check back every single Tuesday. We do have Makeup Minutes on Tuesdays.